welcome. Long Beach Real Estate Agent. We'll be here to help you, save you money, make you money, not lose money. So let's get going. Okay, so this video in the series, uh, Long Beach Real Estate Agent, is all about listing your own home. That's listing it on the uh, property websites. So you've decided to sell your own property and not use a Long Beach Real Estate Agent? Great. Let's look at the marketing side of your property, mainly listing and the other avenues to sell your home. Now selling FSBO saves you on the listing agent commission that you'd normally have to pay, but you will still have the buyer's agent commission to pay, so you can't totally avoid agents or their costs. So where firstly, it has to be on the main property site, namely Zillow. It's free and easy to list on uh, Zillow for sale by owner. It is the largest real estate directory online with over 200 million monthly users. Warning though, your listing will be harder for buyers to find when compared to agent representative listings. They don't get the exposure by Zillow as simple as that. It won't come up in the searches like real estate agents listings do. It is free to use though, so that is a big bonus. You see, to find FSBO, you have to click on a separate other listings button. They don't show up on the big map that shows all the real estate listings. Uh, also, your property will be pushed to realtors, so buyers will contact you through Zillow via an agent, and that means you will have the buyer's commission to pay. You won't be able to get away with this. Um, of course, you can also list your properties on multiple sites, but some charge, and despite what real estate agents say, you need to be on Zillow. If you're selling yourself, that is. You also need to be prepared to get calls from buyer's agents and also agents trying to get you to go through them to sell your home. It's the fact of life, that's how it will be. Of course, you can also politely decline their offers. It is simple to put your property details on Zillow and really self-explanatory when you go on the site itself. Unless you have a sales or marketing type background, then writing details about your own property might be the challenging part. The easiest way is to really just look at other properties, ideally in your area, find a few good listings and copy them. Not word for word, but make slight changes and to be fair, it's what many agents do anyway. Of course, to list your property, you need good photos or video. This is easier than is made out by agents. Most smartphone phones have more than adequate cameras on them. Most important, have good lighting and take pictures at the brightest part of the day. Don't be doing it in the dark, unless you're getting some outside shots on the night time with some nice lit up walls and garden areas and things like this, then that will help. I'll say so, some seller tips for you now, because you see, when you're back in your own home, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. You shouldn't have to be really told this, but you know, we don't see things when it's around us all the time. So clear up all the crap from around your home. Most homes have it, but it's not a good look. The less clutter, the better. This helps potential buyers to visualize themselves living there in your home. Do you redecorate? The short answer is yes, whether you're selling yourself or an agent is selling. Paint everywhere in bright white. You can add color with cushions. This allows buyers to see better how their things will look. If you like orange as a color and have it on every wall, unless you find a buyer who loves orange everywhere, it could mean the difference between the sale or not. A note here, if it's a period property, white is great 
in the majority of situations, but not historical buildings. Common sense here really is needed. Um, but a freshly painted house is far better. It really does. Looks so much better when presented it to somebody. Now we're all different, but you have to appeal to everyone and their tastes. So you have to really depersonalize your home. Have pictures, but not every wall filled with your children smiling everywhere. You might love your children, I hope you do. But seriously, people viewing your house and your home, it's a total distraction. They also really don't care <laughs> about your children. Sorry, but it's actual true. They don't want to be seeing your holiday snaps and all this thing all around the house. They want to see it really clear so they can, it, again, it's going back to visualize themselves in your home. Of course, there are other places to list your property, but they are all a step down from Zillow. As a Zillow has a huge um, number. It's double the next next uh, property portal uh, website. So, you know, you've got to be on Zillow. But there's also some other areas. But, you know, the free listing places, uh, which a lot go to. So there you have places like Craigslist. Yeah, they really are just for the boss of the market bargain cost property. Definitely not the place for Long Beach property. Free doesn't always equate to good. One last thing on Zillow. They also have this service where they will actually call you to buy your home at a greatly reduced price, not market value. A long way off market value. There's also many companies out there offering to buy your home fast like this. They're not doing it out of the kindness, but to make money, a lot of money, by giving you a really low price. Personally, you may as well just go through a good agent, but of course, how do you choose one? Well, for the next video, this is all about choosing the right Long Beach real estate agent. You need to watch this as some agents couldn't sell a glass of water in a drought. So keep watching and we'll see you in the next video. So keep watching for the next video in the series and check in the description for the full free video series on buying or selling our property in Long Beach. Bye for now, see you in the next video.